Greetings humanity from our planet we call home. We are anonymous. For those living in California, and found yourself walking through the pines of San Bernardino National Forest, you would also find yourself stumbling upon metal scaffolding and a 4 inch stainless steel pipe. The pipe stretches from Strawberry Creek, to a Nestle bottling factory in Ontario, California. And every day, 68,000 gallons of fresh water leave the creek forever. This is why, the Story of Stuff Project, the Courage Campaign Institute, and the Center for Biological Diversity, are suing the United States Forest Service, for allowing Nestle, to draw water from public lands for private profit. A roughly, 28 million gallons of water, were siphoned from the natural water table in 2014, to be injected into Arrowhead plastic water bottles, a Nestle owned operation. The cost of buying a 24 pack of Arrowhead 100% mount in spring water at your local target? It would cost an average human $3.99. The annual cost for Nestle to pull 28 million gallons from Strawberry Creek? About $524. According to the Center for Biological Diversity, that is less than the average Californian's water bill. Worse yet, in response to the drought, the United States Forest Service told cabin owners in Barton Flats, that they could no longer use the Barton Creek as a water source. This forced average residents to spend thousands of dollars, in installing water tanks, while Nestle continued to siphon without restraint. According to the official lawsuit documents, Nestle has been conducting operations and escaping mandatory assessment, under the National Environmental Policy Act, for over two decades. A permit issued in 1978, that allowed miles of pipes to tap the mountainside, like large steel straws, actually expired in 1998. Eddie Kurtz, executive director of the Courage Campaign Institute says, Nestle's actions aren't just morally bankrupt, they are illegal. The United States Forest Service has been enabling Nestle's illegal bottling in the San Bernardino National Forest, for 27 years, and it has to stop. Our government will not stand up to them, so we are taking matters into our own hands. As urban sprawl in Southern California spreads, wet areas of life-sustaining vegetation are increasingly becoming isolated pockets among sun-baked desert, if these areas are further stressed by corporate disturbance, wildlife, will surely die. When asked if he planned on decreasing water extraction in California in response to the severity of the drought, Nestle Waters North America CEO Tim Brown said, absolutely not. If I could increase it, I would. We feel good about what we are doing. And we do not plan on stopping. We are anonymous. To Nestle, federal owned corporations, elected and hand picked puppets in the White House. You really do not know the dangers in disturbing our planet's life source. You will soon see. Messing with our Mother Earth is not a wise choice. You have been warned.